Hello everyone, my name is Xin Yuan from Bell Labs. Today I will talk about plug and play algorithms for large scale snapshot compressive image. Okay, SCI. This work is done with Yang Liu from MIT and Jin Li Su and Chung Hai Dai from Tsinghua University. So, uh, snapshot compressive image basically is using a 2D camera or 2D sensor to capture high dimensional data. Here we use video as an example. It has the capital B different high speed frames, and then we use the capital B different mask to modulate the scene. And each one modulated by a different scene, so we integrate light, we get a single measurement. We can use compressing sensing algorithms operating the convolutional network to recover the video. And we'll talk about the PMP motivation algorithm, convergence, and the results. So the uh, SCI can be used for high speed video uh, compressive imaging or the hyperspectral compressive imaging. And today we will talk about the large scale video compressive imaging. And left part means uh, has to be the uh, RGB videos modulated by different random binary masks. When you take a sum, you get the measurement. And uh, existing algorithms we can only run GAP TV, which is a total variation based algorithm. It still needs like three hours. For other algorithms, uh, it's just too slow to do it. For the deep learning one, CN1, you have to train a very big network because the size is so big. So uh, with our proposal, PMP FFD net, we can finish like within one hour, and the quality is uh, so good. You can see the video here. PF9 is less, it's higher than 30 dB. So here is another video. So, so existing solution, like I said, is kind of using different priors, like total variation or sparse or uh, low rank priors. And the next solution, of course, is trying to train a, uh, train a reconstruction network. The neural network can be, uh, needs to be very deep, and then the training time is also an issue. So uh, the left one is too slow, the second one is fast, but not flexible. If you change the mask, it's not as, uh, you have to retrain a network. So to fill the gap about the accuracy, speed, and the flexibility to get, take a good trade of all these three, we propose the PMP uh, network for SSCI. So the PMP is just use a pre-trained denoising network and fill into ADMM or gap network, we can get a good result in a short time. So if you write down the forward model of SCI, uh, the right part is the vectorized of different frames and capital B frames, and left side is the measurement. And the sensing metrics, of course, it's a big matrix, but actually it's a contagination of capital B uh, diagonal matrix. So this can be used in the algorithm development and it will be very fast. So the PMP ADML follows the ADML for work. It has three different steps. And if you use the FX into the uh, L2 loss function and with the pre-trained denoising network, the result can be very fast and uh, for PMP gap, it gap means generalized alternating projection. It only includes two steps instead of three in, as in ADMM. So you can see that the H A transpose inverse is simply a diagonal matrix, so it's very easy to compute. So that's why the PMP gap actually is faster uh, than ADM, ADMM. But uh, under the bounded denoider assumption, which we use in Chan's paper, so we both ADMM and uh, PMP gap converge. Now we show some results. First of all, we show some simulation results, benchmark this set. The, this size actually is small, it's 256 by 256 by 8. It's, uh, we compress 8 frames into a single uh, short measurement. So then we run different algorithms. Gap TV are total variation based, which can be run fast. And the DSCI uh, is the previous state of the art. It's, it can be recognized as PMP WNM, actually. So the quality of DSCI is still the best, and the PSI is highest. But our PMP FFDNet can finish the result within like 10, 10 seconds, and the result is comparable. If you visualize, the result it looks similar. The next one, we try the large scale data set. At this time, the DSCI is simple, you cannot run it. You need a, or you can run it, it needs days. So GAP TV the result is this, and the PMP FDNet is much better than the GAP TV. So they can both finish within an hour or minutes. So now we try some real data. This is a real data captured by real SCI cameras. They are of different size and a different uh, compression rate. So you can see the PMP FDNet can finish the work like in 10 seconds, and the quality are uh, comparable with DSCI. So we compare with different denoiders plug into the PMP network. FFDNet is here, WNM is here. So we can also, our goal is here. The code and the data set is published.